Welcome back to Let's Play Undertale Live and Blind with Spastique. And EX Porygon. And Frisk. You don't have the name yet. That, that no, 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 no. And Frisk. <coughs> oh, Sp yes. <laughs> Frisk and I are two separate characters. We just found this out now. Looking back at the story, it says that Kara's last request, or in this <coughs> case, Spaz's last request, was to go see the flowers in the human village. That's not... But complete. we just found out it's not true. The truth of the matter is, Kara had planned to break the barrier by going up to the surface and gathering six human souls. He and died intentionally, so Azriel could pass through the barrier. But here's the problem, and it explains why Frisk, every time they were afraid, they would stop. Every time we walked towards something scary, they stopped. Because we're sharing a body. I don't have perfect control over Frisk. So, like, whenever there's a choice, or whenever I have to act on something, it's not me as Frisk doing it, it's me giving Frisk choices to do these things. I had a feeling that, like, in the same way, I like, this confirms now that if the dust spread over those flowers, Asriel is flowy. And Frisk is our Flowey. We are possessing this human like a puppet. And now it explains, if I go to the stats... Yeah. The stats are not Frisk's stats. No, they're not. It's they're our control over Frisk. And now I understand what the genocide route is all about. It's not about Frisk getting stronger, it's Frisk killing things to make us stronger. And now I understand the difference between the two roots. In the pacifist route, we're making up for what we seriously messed up. We destroyed our family. We turned our brother into a flower. We've led the we've led the underground to complete ruin. This is our shot at redemption. Stream would argue that Frisk is still mostly in control, and the fact that you're not causing him to kill is is keeping that the same. But you're right about Genocide Run, Chris. You are completely right about that. So our goal is basically we're using this kid to basically finish what we couldn't do. <coughs> People would argue that well, I'll tell you more about that later. Let's see. That and, uh, That's an un you have a unique perspective, actually. Also, this music here is, uh... Well, keep in mind, I'm the kind of guy that figured out the plot to Primer on the first viewing, which the creator said was impossible. Remarkably close, but honestly, where you differ is probably a matter of interpretation more than anything. Right. But anyway, the, the soundtrack is provided by Dee Dee Diz, who I'm playing in the background, but still. Hmm. Frisk! I'll have to hear that later. Can you hear so me? So make sure you look at the <laughs> make sure you look at the thingy in the right corner before you leave. And there's also a note in here. All right, but Frisk, do you trust me? <laughs> Is it because I accidentally killed my brother, led to the ruin of pretty much everything? And okay, I, I get the idea, but still, it could be worse. I could have asked you to kill everything. And I didn't do that, did I? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry I'm using you like a puppet. I'm sorry I've subjected you to scary things, but... Well... And believe me, it's been hard because... I had to watch you die over and over and over again, and I had to revive you over and over and over again. So it must suck having to die over and over again, right? But, since I know where this is going, after the game ends, final cutscene and all, I lose control of you, so... If we break the barrier together, if we fix everything, I promise you, you'll get full control back. Sound hmm. like a deal? Interesting. Frisk? Is this about me making you flirt with everything? Okay, I promise you'll never have to flirt with anything ever again. Deal? 
All right then. Let's do this, kid. Cut the turn the music back on. All right. Let's see. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. That's all you could read. All right, Frisk. Don't forget the thing. What the thing? Upper hand corner. I don't think you looked at that. Where? That that thing on the wall. Or is that just? A... It's a switch. We need the yellow key card. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind that. Continue on. Okay. So back to the bedroom. Spaz, we stopped role-playing when our day with Alfie's ended. Says... <laughs> says it's three. It's a bed. Something under the sheets. Found in the second one, of course. Yeah, we got the key there card. Go. Yellow key card, hang out and switch. But you know, Metal Gear Solid 2 did roughly the same thing, where you name yourself after a character, like, you know, like, you name yourself, like, for your save file, you name yourself, and then when you get to the end of the game, you find out that Raiden has been controlled by someone else the whole time. And then when you uh, get to the very ending, he pulls off the dog tags, and it's your name. The person who's been controlling Raiden. Interesting! And Solid Snake is like, anyone you know. And Raiden's like, nope, and tosses it off. Alright, so I guess I'll mention it since he didn't seem to notice. Look at the shape of that thing. Very carefully. Tell me what it looks like. Or do you not see it? Kind of looks like a monster skull or a hornet head. You know what it looks like to me? What? What is known as Omega Flowey. All right. Remarkably similar. Yeah, so it looks like I might be close as to the whole... Uh, wait, did we read these entries yet? Yeah, you can't. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. So I'll tell you one. So I can confirm your theory about. Uh, actually, no, I'll talk more about it later. Okay. Entry number eleven. All right, it's out of order again. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. And we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try and work on, I just get really sweaty. Oh, another thing it explains. The fact that we're able to understand what people like uh, Grillby say, or when, like, the silent characters talk, but Frisk can't understand them. Huh? I remember. Let's see, or, like, what, or the Undyne vegetable scene. We told uh, Frisk to, uh, like, be heavy on the vegetables, and all they could do was just barely punch it. That's interesting, yeah. That kind of does lead... It's I th I would interpret it as not, for the most part, directly controlling, but nudging. But I'm not entirely sure. I'd say this fast interpretation might be more accurate than most people have adopted. Don't worry, Frisk. Let's uh, do well, this. Real be had a translator. See amalgamate. Wait a minute. Let me listen close to that song. It's the distorted version of Dog Song. Correct. I had forgotten that one existed. Beckon? You call the Amalgamate. It bounds toward you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Ugh. Hovering close. Pet? You pet the Amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Oh crap. It's That's fast. Hard. At the end of the day, it's still a dog. Unicycle. Okay, striking the wall with its claws. Play? Throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly? 
You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans, it's dripping a morphous body on you. <laughs> oh crap, this thing is fast. Dodge. This thing's hard to dodge. Something. That attack in particular, I don't like. <laughs> Switching effect affectionately. Let's try ignore. Try looking away, but it seems to appear everywhere you look. Now I'm going to be switching affectionately. Let's pet it again. Pet the, uh, let's see, it starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. Okay. This is a lot harder before than I using thought. Healing item, before using healing item, always check whether they're sparable. So that way you don't have to go through an extra attack. Okay, they're not. It's not this time. Oh, whoops. Ah, well. I, I didn't mean to do fine. that. Sorry, Frisk. Let's try this again. Pet him again. Oh, it's now recognizable it. now. And Dogeny is contented. Good job. Hmm, what harmonica says, how many dogs are in this picture? How many dogs are in this game? <laughs> oh, well, there, that, was the, yeah, that was the question we asked earlier. I don't know. Probably at least five says they said it, and I agree with that. But we'll have to continue this, let's see, we're at the 11 minute mark, so we'll have to continue this next time on, oh, the room's open now, on Let's Play uh, Undertale, Live and Blind, with Spastique. The Explorer gun. And Frisk. We'll see you next time. <laughs>